and welcome into sports, everybody. Six games down, 12 to go, and even with 10 new players on the roster, TU basketball is right where they've been at this point each of the past two years. That would be contending for the American Conference title. Golden Hurricane a winner again yesterday, beating USF 79-67. Career-high 22 points for Corey Henderson, Jr. After going just 6-6 six and six in the non-conference season, Tulsa's 5-1 and one in the AAC and getting better with each passing week. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased, obviously. Uh, you know, uh, you know, and I saw our schedule at the beginning, uh, what we had. Uh, it was. I was thought it was a little daunting. So I'm. I'm obviously very encouraged and pleased with, you know, what we've been able to accomplish. But uh, I think if you're able to have some success, now you want more. Big reason for that improvement: the play of this guy, sophomore guard Sterling Taplin. He's attacking the rim and it's paying off. In the non-conference, Taplin averaged about seven points per game. In league play, it's up to 15 points, four rebounds, four assists. You know, Sterling. He's growing, man. He's. He's, uh, he's really, really maturing, and uh, he's, he's embracing the responsibilities that we put on him. Uh, yeah, and last year's team did a great job of helping me understand that how hard you got to play for 40 minutes um, and how it's not an easy conference. Every team, every night can come and bring it. Sterling is faster and quicker than you think, and you know we, we want him to be that guy. And he's starting to understand when to use that, and, uh, and that's, as a coach, that's really good to see he's, he's getting it. Taplin and TU back in action Wednesday at East Carolina. For the